The golden years of archaeology are not over. The world is still full of buried and hidden treasure, and experts and specialists are still out there looking for it. You don't even have to be an expert or a specialist to find that treasure, though. You just have to be lucky. Plenty of people have struck lucky with buried treasure in the past few years, and to prove it, we've put this video together so you can check out their amazing discoveries. Aside from all the other atrocious things they did during the Second World War, the Nazis stole and looted gold, silver, and other precious treasures from every country they invaded. They often buried these treasures for safekeeping, and we're still looking for some of that buried treasure today. Somehow, a whole cache of it remained undetected in a 14th century Polish castle until June 2020. Now, Sox Castle, which once belonged to the monarchs who ruled the land it stands on but now stands in ruins, was used by the Nazis as a hiding place for vast amounts of stolen goods during the occupation of Poland. It's long been thought that all of it was recovered years ago, but the Nowy Sox Historical Association found one more treasure chest during an exploratory dig, and inside that chest, a collection of silver goods that were probably stolen from Jewish families. The bulk of the silverware was made in Poland, although some of it bears an Austrian maker's mark. The chest might have been buried accidentally when Polish soldiers retook the castle from the Nazis in 1945. Their assault on the building was so intense that they almost entirely destroyed it. Hiding goods under the floors of churches was a common way to stash valuables in ancient times, and that was proven to be the case yet again in April 2020, when more than 500 coins were discovered hiding below the ground at the Church of the Rosary of Our Lady in the Kosice district of Slovakia. A team from the local archaeological society was conducting research on the foundations of the old Renaissance-era church when they came across a ceramic mug that had been deliberately stashed below a stone slab. The coins, which are silver, date back to around 1702 and appear to be salary coins that were handed out to miners who worked in the area. It's unlikely that a miner would have been paid this many coins in their working life, so this was probably either the financial reserve of the mining company or perhaps even a collection of stolen coins. The more likely explanation, though, is that the church collected donations from the miners who worshipped here and stored them in a jug for safekeeping. The presence of a few slightly more ornate coins from further away in Slovakia appears to back up this theory. The 2020 lockdown situation that most of the world has had to deal with hasn't been fun for most people, but there's a family in France who might disagree with that assessment. That's because their children found two solid gold bars in their family home in May when they were forced to play indoors instead of outdoors. The two brothers, aged 9 and 10, live in the town of Vendôme. When they were given permission to use their grandmother's old bed sheets to make a den, but as they went into their room and grabbed the sheets, two heavy objects fell from the back of the shelf and hit the floor. The noise attracted their father, who was stunned when he saw the shiny gold peeking out from under the sheets. He quickly contacted a local auctioneer by telephone who made an assessment of the gold based on pictures and priced them at around $44,000 each. Documents found on the same shelf as the gold showed that the grandmother had bought the bars in 1967 as an investment, but apparently forgot to inform her family about its existence before she passed away. We guess finding out late is better than never finding out at all. Coin discoveries are relatively common for archaeologists, and they're almost as common for construction workers digging up roads or creating foundations for new houses. Not every coin discovery is worth the attention of the press, but this one from China is. So many coins were found during this construction project in June 2020 that the workers who came across them were lifting them out of the ground by the shovel load and carrying them away from the site in buckets. It's thought that a bucket excavator shattered an old wall during construction work in Shanxi, Huashan County and set the cache of coins free. The workers quickly set about the task of getting all the coins out of the wall, but they found the more they dug, the more coins appeared. They dug a tunnel eight feet long, 
and they were still surrounded by coins on all sides. By the time they'd pulled out everything they could find, their haul weighed more than three tons. Based on the range of dates on the currency, it appears that the collection was built up over a period of many decades. But the bulk of them come from the Song Dynasty, which existed between 960 and 1279. The presence of an ancient government office some 180 feet away might give a clue as to how they got here. Our next amazing item wasn't discovered very recently, but its true value was. It's this ancient bone, which was found by British construction workers in Derby, England during the 1990s. They believed it to be a mammoth tusk. Instead of taking it to be valued, they sold it to a local businessman for around $300, and the businessman hung it on his office wall and left it there for many years. In 2010, he briefly considered selling it, and that's when he got his first clue as to its real identity and value. An American expert contacted him through eBay and informed him that the object he'd listed for sale didn't come from a mammoth at all. Instead, it came from an auroch, a long extinct type of bull. The businessman misinterpreted this advice though. Instead of believing that this might make his horn more valuable, he thought it would make it less valuable. And so he withdrew it from sale and put it back on the wall. It wasn't until July 2020 that he saw an article about an auric horn for sale and realized he could be sitting on a fortune. And so he finally took the piece to be professionally valued. Only then did he find out that it was 5,000 years old and worth around $10,000. If you're ever walking along a beach and you come across a smelly, slightly sticky ball of mucus, pick it up and take it home. It might be your ticket to a fortune. Surachet Chanchu of Thailand knows all about that. He was combing the beach looking for waste to sell or recycle in December 2019 when he came across an enormous chunk of whale vomit, which is better known to people who work in the perfume industry as ambergris. This highly sought after substance attracts huge prices and has been nicknamed floating gold. A single lump of it can sell for as much as $20,000. Surachet's chunk is much bigger than that. It weighs 37 pounds and could be worth anything up to $750,000. The average annual wage in Thailand is a little under $10,000, so this discovery could change not only Surachet's life, but the lives of his entire family. This substance forms in the digestive tracts of sperm whales and usually drifts in the ocean for years as it hardens before being washed up on beaches. It smells quite pleasant when it's old, but when it's relatively fresh, it's said to be extremely pungent. Almost nobody ever goes to bed poor one night and becomes a millionaire the next day. But every now and then, it will happen to somebody. It happened to a Tanzanian miner, Saninui Lazier, in June 2020, after he found a pair of rough Tanzanite stones and sold them both for a combined price of $3.4 million. The gemstone gets its name because the northern reaches of Tanzania are the only place in the world that it can be found, and it's so rare that geologists believe there will be none of it left in the ground at all by 2040. Mr. Lizer mined the stones himself and sold them on to the country's mining executive for the record-setting price. As a father of 30, he has a lot of mouths to feed, but he won't have a problem doing that for the rest of his life. To give you an idea of the magnitude of his find, the previous record for the heaviest weight of any single Tanzanite discovery was 7 pounds. Sananui stones weighed 12 pounds and 20 pounds respectively. It was such big news in Tanzania that the miner received a personal phone call from President John Magufuli to congratulate him on becoming rich. The site of the Mentor shipwreck is already famous for giving up precious treasure. The ship, which sank in 1802 close to Kithara in Greece, was transporting the Elgin marbles to England when it went down. 
Those artifacts, also known as the Parthenon Marbles, were recovered two years after the Mentor slipped below the waves. But as of October 2019, we now know there are still treasures to be discovered in and around the wreck. The most recent diving expedition turned up a collection of gold jewelry, the ship's cooking pots, a solid gold ring, some ornate gold earrings, and three beautifully carved chess pieces. When the divers returned to the surface, they reported that they'd seen other objects down there, including some statues and figurines, but were unable to retrieve them with the equipment they had on hand. This follows on from the discovery of Egyptian statues at the site of the wreck in 2016. It's incredible that precious goods are still there at the bottom of the sea after more than 200 years, and it makes us wonder what else might be hiding at the site of other famous shipwrecks around the world. On the topic of old discoveries providing new treasures, who would have thought that we'd still be gleaning information from the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt in 1922, almost a century later? Somehow, these pieces of embossed gold leaf went unstudied from the time they were discovered from the tomb that year until 2017, when a team from Tübingen in Germany decided to take a look at them. When they did, they found irrefutable evidence of a previously unknown connection between the Egypt of Tutankhamun's time and the Levant. It's believed that the fragments were once decorative fittings for bridles and bow quivers. Some of the images on them include a scene of goats and animals fighting at the Tree of Life. This kind of imagery is unknown in Egypt of the time, but popular in the Levant of the same area. It's possible that the images and the concept behind them came to Egypt from Mesopotamia by way of Syria via trade and conversation. To put that another way, it means that this whole area of Africa and the Middle East was part of a friendly trading block as long ago as 1340 BCE. Finding quartz at Coleman's Quartz Mine close to Jesseville in Arkansas, USA is the whole reason the mine exists so finding a cluster of the precious mineral there isn't a special occasion. The discovery of the cluster that turned up there in 2018, though, was a very special occasion indeed. That's because this colossal single-piece cluster is 8 feet long from one end to the other and tips the scales at 2,000 pounds. It's the most valuable discovery made at the mine since it started operations during the 1940s. If it were to be sold as a single piece, it would be worth approximately three and a half million dollars. The company has done all the hard work of dragging the cluster out of the ground and cleaning it up, but so far they haven't found the right buyer for it. They'd rather it was sold as one cluster instead of being broken up, and so until someone comes up with the cash and agrees to take it off their hands, it's staying under lock and key at the mine. Many years ago, a devoutly Christian woman bought a religious painting and hung it on the wall of her kitchen in Compiègne, France. It hung there for decades and developed a thick layer of grease from being so close to the stove. The heat darkened the painting, and over time it began to look a little ugly. In 2019, the woman, who was by this point an old lady, decided to throw it out, but her grandson persuaded her to have it valued first. That's when they found out that this humble kitchen decoration was actually a missing work of art by Italian master Simabu, and had been thought to be lost or destroyed for centuries. Known as Christ Mocked, it was finished by Simabu in the year 1280. Simabu's work is incredibly rare, and this piece becomes one of only 10 known to exist anywhere on the planet. Even with the grease and the damage from all those years on the wall, the valuer said that the work was almost priceless. Unsurprisingly, the family decided to cash in on their surprise asset. When they did, they received a sum of nearly $40 million. In 2019, a farmer in Ballycastle, Northern Ireland, returned to his farmhouse to discover that he'd lost his wedding ring while out working in his fields. Instead of telling his wife, he phoned up two friends who owned a metal detector in the hope they'd be able to help him find it. Those friends, Michael Gwynn and Paul Raynard, were unable to locate the ring. 
The farmer's wife didn't mind much, though, because while they were looking for the ring, they came across a set of 84 gold coins dating back to the 16th century, one of which is extraordinarily rare and is stamped with the face of the famous King Henry VIII of England. Putting a value on a collection of coins this unique is never easy, but the auctioneer who they were taken to said that they should be worth at least $150,000 to the right collector. When the auction came, they did a little better than that. The coins sold for just over $200,000, which was split three ways between Paul, Michael, and the farmer. His wife got a new wedding ring, and they had plenty of spare cash left over.